Lift up your two hands to heaven. Don't sit down. Begin to appreciate the Almighty God, the King of Glory, the Everlasting Father. When you remember His goodness towards you, when you remember what God did in January, when you remember what He did last month, how He arose for you, how He answered your prayers, how He defended you, how He fought your battle. Can you give Him glory? Can you give Him honor? Can you give Him adoration? He deserves to be praised. He deserves to be adored. He deserves to be magnified. But then let God hear your voice this morning. Basuntan da pray de kasuntalia. Zema le prono kasanta le mama. Shima le boto kasanta le mama kasanta. Zele bos katen de prade kasuntalia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Beloved. This is our month of glorious advancement. And I pray for one person here at this point. That in that name that is above every other name. Powers assigned to tie you down on the same spot shall be losing in the name of Jesus. They will leave you alone in the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your two hands. You want to pray two prayer points very quickly. And you are going to cry to God and say, Father! You all can do better. Say, Father! I am tired of the level I am now. Take me to my next level. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? I don't know the next level you desire. <laughs> This is the month of glorious advancement. <laughs> Thank God you are displeased with your present level. <laughs> Physically, spiritually, financially, maturely. <laughs> oh God, take me to my next level. I want to advance. <laughs> I want to move forward. I want to be lifted. <laughs> I want a change of level. Masuka Lebra and Kelebra Gaga 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 for you single, for you bachelor, <laughs> for you sister, your next level of advancement, marital advancement, masu kalaboshka, ne pratoga zentelele, in Jesus mighty name, we have prayed. Only one person said amen. Lift up your two hands. In that name that is above every other name, you want to pray? Every downward trend must stop. Any area of your life that you have been experiencing downward trend, God will arise and terminate that trend. Lift up your voice like that. Say, Father! Say, Father! Every form of downward trend in my life, stop! Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Every form of downward trend, downward trend in any area, stop! Masuta Lala. The Bible says, Yes, I decree a thing, Masutala. Deepote, Gazunda, Laboshia, Talala. Rigete, Kakuta, Bachia, Talala. Every form of downward trend, financial downward trend, material downward trend, positional downward trend, any form of demotion, downgrading, Masupa, Labrade. Stop, Pasutalala. Thank you, mighty Father. Hey, Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. When I think, of the goodness of Jesus in my life and all he has done for my very soul shy shy hallelujah praise God praise God for saving Sing it one more time when I think of the goodness of He that's your testimony, lift up your voice and tell me. And all He has done for me and for me. Shasha, hallelujah, praise God.
You've done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. I say, If I had ten thousand tons, oh, it would be enough. We say. When you heal, you heal completely. I said, easy, easy. Jehovah God. Wash our Wash This is our confession. This is our declaration. This is our conviction. That what have we to render to you? You saw us through the month of January. January did not see our end. February tried and could not see our end. And you have brought us into this third month. Daddy has said our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the great weight upon you last month. Thank you, O God, for our 50 days of waiting. Thank you for the 21 days of vigil. Thank you for answer prayers. Thank you for healings. Thank you for deliverances. Thank you for miracles. Thank you for signs and wonder. Thank you for testimony. Lord, I said our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you did over the weekend. For the special Holy Ghost service that you made very special indeed. Thank you for adding another year, a landmark year, to our Father in the law. That day we say, I said our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all something you have for all this month. Thank you for indeed, it is our month of glorious advancement. Therefore, my Father and my God. For everyone under the influence of my voice, eh, they have declared they are tired of their present level. Lord, change their level this month. In the name of Jesus. Wherever my father will hear a louder amen, your level will change this month. Every form of downward train will stop. And as we go into the word of the Lord, God will speak expressly to you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I told you, it will be louder than your neighbor. If you believe you are going higher than your neighbor, jump up higher than your neighbor and shout hallelujah. Maybe you didn't hear me loud and clear. I'm not boss is going higher than his or her neighbor. I say jump up higher than your neighbor. I say hallelujah. Put those hands together for Jesus. And let's be seated in his presence. We don't have time, but we are in for a journey this month. For God has whispered into our ears and has given us the team glorious advancement. I don't know who that fellow is that is going to gloriously advance forward, but I know God is talking to me. I said, God is talking to me. I don't know about you. Hallelujah. And that is why I want to encourage you. The first anointing service of tomorrow morning, don't miss it. Because we're going to be talking about the force for glorious advancement. 
there is a propelling force that will push a destiny beyond his capacity, beyond his imagination, beyond his plan. Can I pray for you, sir? That force will come upon you. And that's why I encourage you don't miss tomorrow morning anointing service. Come with your own oil. And if you don't have, just come, you'll be anointed. And that power that will take you higher will come upon you. We don't have time. We're looking at the topic this morning. Glorious advancement. Can you whisper into the ears of your neighbor? Say glorious advancement. Is your neighbor listening to you at all? Turn to another neighbor. Say glorious advancement. Now turn to two of them and say it's my own portion. What is your neighbor saying? First Chronicle chapter 11 verse 9 because this will be your testimony. I want the engineers project it because I want all to read it together. Yeah. Want to go. So. Eh? Eh? I can't hear you. So what? So who? You are not seeing clearly. Can't you see Sunday there? Want to go? So Sunday was greater and greater for the Lord of all society. Whose name did you see there? Point to me, say, Pastor, is your name? Say, Pastor, I saw Sunday there. Sunday, Sunday. So Sunday was greater and greater for the Lord of hosts is with him. There are two key words in this month team. Glorious and advancement. What is advancement? To advance is to move forward. Advancement is about change in a state or in a position. Advancement talks about progress. Advancement talks about acceleration. Advancement talks about rising higher. Advancement talks about moving at a very higher level. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you advance, you can go higher. When you advance, you can go forward. When you advance, you can develop. When you advance, you can improve. When you advance, you can be elevated. When you advance, you can be promoted. When you, are, when you advance, you can be upgraded. I am praying for you. You will be upgraded. You will be promoted. You will be elevated. You will be upgraded. You will go higher. You will go forward. You will rise up. You are that brother. You may be louder than your neighbor. Opposite of advancement is demotion, degradation, dispersion, downward trend, reduction. None of these shall be your portion in the name of Jesus. And when you say something is glorious, you are talking about something admirable. You are talking about something distinguished. Something famous. Something worthy of celebration. Something honor. Something eminent. Something excellent. Something outstanding. Something great. Something magnificent. Praise the Lord. So, so what we are saying here is that there are a level of advancement. It can, the work can not be oh advancement or moving forward or promotion but deliberately God added an adjective saying glorious advancement meaning somebody is in for an extraordinary promotion an outstanding promotion famous promotion if you are not to say a louder amen beloved our God is God of progress our God is God of what? Listen to me, when you are stagnated or you are experiencing that word trend, God is not happy. 
because the will and the counsel and the purpose of God for every of his children is to progress and that is why every power assigned to stagnate and to slow down your destiny God will deliver you from them if you are saying amen say it loud and clear how do I know that God is not pleased seeing you stagnated, seeing you retrogressing, seeing you experiencing that word trend? In John chapter 8, verse 7, the Bible says, Though that beginning was small, though that beginning was what? small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. Somebody will greatly increase. Your glory will greatly increase. Your blessing will greatly increase. Your promotion will greatly increase. Your favor will greatly increase. Your riches will greatly increase. Your wealth is greatly increased. If you are that valuable, your end may be the evidence. That's why when you read Psalm 105 verse 24, the Bible says concerning the people of City of Light. Which people? Huh? Huh? What did he say? And he increased who? Oh my God. He increased who? His people how? And neither how? That is to tell you that God is God of progress. God is God of increase. That is why you must grow on every side. That is why if you are here, you are giving your life to Christ. You are not growing spiritually. God is not happy with you. Because the Bible says, as newborn babe, desire the sincere meek of the world, that ye may grow thereby. When you are talking about glory advancement, it cut across every area of our life. That's, That's why you can experience glory advancement physically. You can experience it spiritually. You can experience it financially. You can experience it materially. You can experience it maritally. You can experience it positionally. You can experience it in business. You can experience it in career. You can experience it academically. Can I pray for somebody, sir? You will experience all around glorious advancement. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. That's why when the children of Israel were in between the Red Sea, and the enemy were pursuing them from the back because God is a God of progress. He said to Moses, He said, Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Exodus 14 15. Tell them to do what? Can I declare to somebody here today? This month of March, you are marching forward. Oh my God. Only one person got that one. I said, This month of March, you are marching forward. When you hear things like that, you don't see that. When you hear things like that, you don't stand at the same spot. I say this month of March, you are marching forward. I say let your let your neighbor see how you are marching forward. In that day, that's above ever, you will not go backward. And if you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. Beloved, God is a God of progress. And I know you will progress. The question is. How do I advance gloriously? If God is a God of progress and He has given us the team glorious advancement, what are the things? How do I advance? Number one, your determination not to be stagnated in life is key to your glorious advancement. I repeat, your determination. Not to be stagnated in life is key to your glorious advancement. Many of us are unduly satisfied with the level we are until you become until you become unsatisfied with your level. There is not going to be a push in you to move forward. Hello, hello. I was listening to the autobiography. A film that was acted or a documentary that was uh, 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 televised on the television concerning our father and the Lord. When the father said to the mother, You are not my only wife, and your son is not the only children I have. And so, let him go and learn as an artisan. I have no money to send him to school. Praise God. 
Praise God. And the young boy at that tender age protested that decision of the father with a hunger strike. He said, is that what my father said? If my father has said he have no money to send me to school, I will also not eat in this house. So the man refused food. The young boy refused food. We're talking about our generals here. Day one, day two, day three. The mother said, you are the only son I have. Don't kill yourself. Say, go and meet my father. The woman went to the father. You know, Adejare is the only son that I have. He has not eaten three days. He said, I will not eat until he sent it to school. Please. The father had to go and borrow the money. And sell the goat in addition. Praise God. And came back to the mother and said, don't worry. Tell him he will go to school. And the guy began to eat. He had a determination not to remain at the level he is. Can I pray for somebody here? In that name that is above every other name. May a new that determination to go forward come upon you in the name of Jesus. It is determination that made Apostle Paul said in the book of Philippians chapter 3, verse 13 to 17. He said, Brethren, I can't know myself to have apprehended. But this is one thing I do, forgetting things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Verse 14. I want that to be projected on the screen. I want everybody to read it. Oh my God, who is by the system? Okay, let me read for you because I don't have time. He says, I press forward. I press what? Toward the mark for the press of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. In who? In Christ Jesus. I press toward the mark. Determination. I am praying for you, sir. God will take you higher. Those that want to advance gloriously must surround themselves with right people. You must keep the right relationship. I was listening to a message yesterday. A pastor ministering to youths. And he said that he attended a program. And the, and the servant of God had them to write the seven names of their friends. And he wrote. And the man of God said, That seven name is your future. It's your tomorrow. Those seven names... Whoever they are is what you are going to become. And he said, any of them that you know will not take you or will not allow you to where you are going to delete them and disconnect. He said, one of his friends that they were childhood friends were the first he deleted because he knew that one was going nowhere. No future ambition. Do you know what the Bible says? In Psalm 1 verse 1, he said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. Brethren, who have you surrounded yourself with? Who are your friends? Whose relationship are you, are you always enjoying? Whose company are you always enjoying? Be careful. When you surround yourself with people that are moving and advancing, you will move and advance. When you surround your people with people that are purposeful, you will become purposeful. I remember when we were in school, all of us that work together, we call ourselves the club of Ethicos. You know what they call Ethico? We do competition. How many hours you will read? And God exonerated us with results in flying colors. Can I pray for somebody? Anyone is your, that is in your company that will not allow you to reach your goal. Let the fire of separation come now in the name of Jesus. If you are saying them, say loud and clear. Anyone that will not allow you get to where God has ordained for you every lot in your life, let God separate them. Lord will not allow Abraham get fulfillment. God had to separate him. 
Brethren, the people you surround yourself with will go a long way to tell about how far you can go in life. The mixed multitude that followed the children of Israel were the people that slowed them down. That's why when you are in church, open your eyes. Look at father and brothers and sisters. Keep their company and we catch fire. I don't, I don't have time. time. Number three, turn your worry to worship. Turn your what? All your worries don't need to what? Worship. God is not pleased with those that murmur. God is not pleased with those that are complaining. You will not be the fault of any challenges. Your challenges are a stepping stone to your miracle and promotion. Turn your worries to what? Worship. In Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 29, you know the story of Paul and Silas. It was enough worry that they were kept in prison, but they turned their worry to worship and, 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 and deliverance came. The prison door was shattered. There was an earthquake. The, the, the jailer became their servant. Why? They turned their worry to what? To worship. Even in Second Chronicles 20, verse 15 to 19, when the Spirit of God came upon Jehazel, he said to Jehoshaphat, These five people, don't worry, these five kings and five nations, don't worry yourself. God has said you will not need to fight. Do you know that the revelation and the prophecy that came to Jehoshaphat, there was no way that the man of God said, Go and see praise. No. Jehoshaphat took the decision to say, no, let us worship. Let us turn our worry to worship. And when they turn their worry to worship, all their enemy now begin to worry. They worry and kill themselves, finish themselves, and let's spoil for Jehoshaphat. Can I pray for you, sir? As you worship God here today, as you praise God here today, all your worries are transferred to your enemy. Only one person got that one. If you are that to say it louder, amen. It was when David turned his worry to worship that he inquired from God and God said, Pursue, overtake, and what? Recover all. I'm going to worship God today. Stand on your feet, dance a little bit. Dance, dance, dance. You're, look at, you are not even dancing. You are waiting for a drum. In that name that is above every other name. Throughout this week, you will dance. You will celebrate. You will rejoice. You are that fellow there, your neighbor knows you are the one. Beloved, as I close, you want to advance gloriously, develop your skills. Develop what? Whatever you are doing now, there's a better way for you to do it. That's why in 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 18, David was described as a skillful player. Improve on your skill. Improve on your talent. Improve on your gifts that you may advance gloriously. If you have a vision, go and pay the price for the vision. For there is always a waiting period. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 33, King Saul was talking to David. He said, you are going to face Goliath. You are not a man of war. The Goliath has been a man of war for over years. But by the time you get to 2 Samuel chapter 17, verse 7 to 8, Hushai described David as a man of war. What has happened between 1 Samuel 17, 33 and 2 Samuel 17, 7, the man has developed his skill of warfare and has become a general. Can I pray for you, sir? Everything God has deposited in you, receive power to develop. Receive grace to develop. Rise to your feet. You want to advance gloriously, brethren, there is a room for diligence. There is a room for hard work. Lazy people, slothful people cannot advance. Somebody was preaching yesterday, say you see some people, they sleep for 18 hours. Do you know if you are sleeping for 10 hours, you're already burying your destiny? 
Even the eight hours the doctor recommend, if you are making up that eight hours, when you have not reached your fulfillment, you are already eating part of your destiny. I'm telling you the truth. Go and look at diligent people. They hardly sleep. You call them workaholic, but it pays. Hard work is profitable. Hard work is what? Profitable. Laziness will bring poverty. Will bring stagnation. Will bring downward trend. That will never be your portion. Then in all this, in all this, the Bible says, promotion come not from where? Not from the east, not from the west. Who is the promoter? He bring it down and lift us up. That's why you must be in his book, his good book. If you are not in the book, good book of God, you cannot advance. You don't know your tomorrow. But the Almighty God knows your tomorrow. With Him partnering with you, you can be very sure you will get to your destination. Can you all please rise on your feet? Lift up your two hands and say, Father, I thank you. Because I am advancing gloriously. I am moving forward. Thank you for my life. Go ahead and appreciate the Almighty God. Give God glory. Give God honor. Give God adoration. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy to be adored. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I don't know who this fellow is. You have been trying hard to make progress in life. But you have been using your own strength, your own little wisdom. You ignore God. You refuse to receive him. You see, continue your way of sin. And that's why you have been where you are. But right now, God is saying, I want to have mercy on you. I, I want, want to take all the battle. I, I want to take you higher. All you need is to surrender. All you need is to rededicate your life. If you are that fellow, can you lift up your right hand? And let me pray with you this morning. You have been struggling on your own. And you have remained on the same spot. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brother. If I raise that hand, can you just please raise it above your head and come and join me at the altar here right now? Let me pray with you. God bless you, my sister. Please come. My sister, the ushers, can you attend to them very quickly? Can you attend to them? Please come, please come. Ushers, can't can't you attend to them? See somebody here. Nobody's attending to her now. If you are outside and you are raising your hand, can you please come inside? Anywhere you are, can you please come? Can you please come now? Can you please come? The fellow is carrying a baby. Okay. Please come, please come, please come, wherever you are. Very quickly, I'll just count one, two, three. Before the count of three, I want you here, then I pray with you. One. Quickly, 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 quickly. We don't have time. We don't have time. Two. If you are coming wherever you are, or shall say, is there anyone coming from outside? Is there anybody coming? Shall we pray? Precious Father, I want to thank you for your daughter standing at your altar. Lord, you know why you could single her out, oh God, for this glorious advancement. Mighty Father, take hold of her destiny take hold of her life partner with her from today have mercy on her remove her name from the book of death and destruction rewrite her name in the book of life and as of today let her move forward let her go higher till you come oh god father lord she will not stop going higher the name of god the father god the son god the holy spirit i just want to say a better my sister can you follow this my sister want me the rest of us can we please top our two heads to heaven and say father Whatever price I need to pay to move higher for the rest of my life, grant me the grace now. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God.